So a number of people have asked me about what bike mount I'm using to raise the bike. Well, I've had it for, for almost five years now. I went down to Tamworth and bought it. It's the big blue professional easy riser. Just key big blue bike lift into Google and you'll find it. Uh, the guy who's invented it, he, he's down there, he, he couldn't have been better, he was fantastic. And I brought it back in the back of the car, it'll fit in the car, and also with a front wheel lock, which I'll show you in a minute. It's not the easiest thing to put together if you keep changing bikes. And it comes with this kit, it, he called it a Swiss army knife, so that you use whatever parts to be able to use on different bikes. So if I'm just doing a regular service and I keep changing bikes and I tend not to use it, but the minute I've got more than an hour or two, then it's certainly worth putting it on the bike lift. So I'm going to show you how it works. When I bought it, I had the old 2012 RT. It was a brilliant lift for that. Um, but the new RT, it didn't fit, but I've made an adapter so that I can get it on the new RT, but I'll talk about that later. I needed something that would tuck away in the garage. A full table lift would be just fantastic, but it would fill the floor in between time, and I just didn't want that. This one I tuck under the bench. It operates with an electric drill, believe it or not, and they lift bikes, gold wings, all the Harleys, just amazing. And you so the first thing I do, especially because I'm on my own, is um, put it into this wheel chock, which I which I also bought from the supplier of the lift itself. He sells these, and they're adjustable, of course, so that they fit any bike. Once it's in there, it can stand without its center stand or or its stand side stand, and you need that because the lift has to go under and the center, center stand must be up. So to be able to, if there were two of us, I think it would be easier, but because I'm on my own, I have to push it onto there first to make sure it's tight. There we are. It was already adjusted for this wheel because we brought it back in the van last night. So it stands there totally on its own. So if you ever buy one of these mounts, one of these lifts, then to me the wheel chock is essential if you work on your own. Now we've got to work on the mount itself. So the first thing is to just get it roughly in position. And I think the last bike I did was an RT LC, so everything changes. That's the only problem with it. If you work on your bike all the time, just on your bike, then everything is set up. But I have to start again every time. So I've got to get everything ready for this. What I should have mentioned is that you have to, on a GS you have to take off the sump guard because that gets in the way. So I've just done that, just four bolts to take the sump guard out. Now. I've got to position this in roughly the correct position. This here goes under the foot peg. So I line that up. I may have to drop it a little bit there. You see that? And the front bar, this front bar goes under the engine block itself. So we've just got to adjust things now to be able to get that to fit. This is where it's a little bit of a fiddle, but once you know what you're doing, you, and if you have the same bike, you can always set it up. So you can see what I'm doing. I'm putting this U-bolt on. I've adjusted these, which will go in every direction. The guy was right, it is like a Swiss Army knife. This holds all the way down, slots everywhere, so you can adjust them to fit your bike. And I've got it under the foot pad like that, and then this U-bolt goes on, and with wing nuts, 
and screw it right up as tight as I can so it's locked on the back foot, foot pegs and I do the same the other side and then we go to the front where we can make sure that the block is in line with the strongest part of the engine block right under the sump so that it can begin to lift so let's check that next this is the other end where the block and I've mounted this block actually this aluminium block this can move up and down and I've added the aluminium block on which fits my RTLC um, but I might as well leave it on for this and I've put neoprene pad in on it as well so what I've got to do now is line it up with the block in the strongest position which is probably about there but I check it as I lift so let me get up now and begin the lift So that is all fine, it's missing the, the blocks of the uh, sump guard, don't want it to catch them. It's quite tight in the wheel lock in the front there, so I've got to lift it beyond that. it to the top so now I can work on it much easier it's a bit of a faff but that's because I keep changing bikes but it is absolutely solid now you think oh is it going to fall over well it doesn't and all the tests they've done the angles are just right if a gold wing can't fall off here certainly a GS won't 